Hi guys, welcome back again. This is an update on my uh, mangoes. And questions, questions. Why is my three-year-old grafted Kensington Pride mango looking like this in ground? This has had two two years now in the ground. Two, it's gone through two winters. Last, last year at this time, it was not in this um, state. It was actually um, quite fine. And uh, one thing I changed from last spring is I tipped. I tipped um, the tree about uh, a month ago. And until then, it was looking fine wasn't looking perfect it still had a lot of uh, winter um, that winter look but it didn't have this look so after I tipped here and tipped there and tipped there and tipped there and there and here basically I tipped everything like um, and the one back there it, this this happened not overnight it took about um, Two weeks to get this it's still green all the um, the stems are green all of them um, this one here is starting to get a little dark which is not good but still overall it's on the green side oh, the Sun's coming out Wow um, it's not looking happy at all right and I'm not happy either so be careful about tipping your mangoes I'm not sure if that's what caused it I'm only guessing because that's the only thing that I did different so uh, that's the first mango tree <clears throat> that I want to show you it's raised the tree was planted uh, raised a couple of years ago so it's not sitting in a bog of water that can't be it even though I, I did water it considerably a month ago maybe I shouldn't have done that yeah it's a little you can see here see that it's a little boggy but that was a month ago and um, we've got a heap of rain this morning as I mentioned earlier so that didn't help very it's very very wet very very soggy okay let's move on to the next mango the mangoes I have in pots of course are doing fabulous right because they haven't seen um, they haven't seen the extremes of the mangoes in pots they were kept in um, in the greenhouse over winter and they've been in the pot so they don't know what waterlogging means so no waterlogging no cold no wind no tipping I didn't tip this one well there's nothing to tip except the flowers oh hang on what's this oh yeah See that there? I think it was this one. I can't remember. One, one of the two potted uh, mangoes. I um, I lost um, one of the branches when it fell over in the wind a month ago. I can't remember if it was this mango or that one over there. Right? Let's have a look. Uh, you know what? It wasn't that one. It was this one. Yeah, so I didn't tip it. it. It tipped itself when it tipped over. Yeah. See that? That there. That broke off when it fell over in the wind. Anyway, as I was saying, the, uh, the potted mangoes are doing fantastic. Fantastic. So maybe it is a good idea to grow these in pots here in Melbourne. In, in indoors keep them indoors in in winter and bring them out now in um, 
spring and there's the other one which I put back in a pot after um, having it in the ground for a year look how happy it is back in a pot compared to where it was in the ground see the difference with the first mango I showed you the Kensington Pride guys this tells it tells you everything doesn't it so this was the R2E2 um, Alfonso and the um, the Quan is that right yeah the Quan all right let's move on the next mango which is in ground is this guy here which I also tipped this is the uh, Parvin it doesn't have as much damage to the leaves as the um, Kensington Pride except maybe for this one leaf but uh, everything else looks okay typical um, coming out of winter look but I tipped him as well so <clears throat> is it the tipping that was the problem on the Kensington Pride if so why wasn't this affected hmm? see tip 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 and tip there and tipped here basically every, every I tipped everything golly gosh I'm not gonna be doing that again by the way no tipping mangoes so this one is also gone through its second uh, let's see no first winter that was the first winter for the Parvin and it came through okay All right what's this now here looks like something's growing Wow something growing here when right next to the Wow look at this a plant I just oh, looks like a mango uh, uh, avocado I just pulled this out of the ground can you believe it this guy is um, doing great whatever he is right next to the mango and the mango is just sitting there not doing anything right and this guy is thriving right next to the mango's uh, roots look what I broke off just under here he was growing in the soil I wonder what else is grow growing under there there's more roots from him jeez <sighs> gotta really check close to see what's going on so this does look like an avocado half of an avocado seed I might put that into a pot man oh man anyway back to the mango I don't see um, because I've, everything's everything's compost compost and mulch that's why these um, volunteers come and we eat a lot of avocados so I don't see any new growth coming um, wait a minute oh no there's some there something's going on there yep there is something coming pretty late that one sprout till November and I was hoping for the for this one and the Kensington Pride to sh shoot out new sprouts um, already a month ago at the end of September early October not November it's a bit late very late 
because these are in ground guys these are not pots so that was the backyard and here in the front yard as many of you know I have my oldest mango the uh, Glen and that's doing really well but remember <laughs> it's it should be because it's uh, six let's say six to seven years old yeah between six and seven I'm, I'm sure it's seven years old but I'll, I'll guess and say six to seven because I've had it for six and when I bought it it must have been a year old right so it is seven and this is what I wanted the Kensington Pride to look like the, the first mango I showed you the one that looks like it's dying this is how it should have been looking after two years in ground hmm <clears throat> now did I tip this one yes I did I did some tipping on this too the same day I did all the tipping what did I tip only a few points I tipped that I tipped that too back there I tipped also see that one there big fat one there I tipped that um, I think I tipped hang on I think I tipped um, that as well I tipped in here see that big fat one there I cut that one um, I tipped this one how many is that five 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 or six let's say there's um, 20 let's say there's 20 tips or let's say there's 25 tips on his tree I tip five out of the 25 so that's why it's still roaring along I'm sure if I'd cut all 25 we wouldn't be having this now we wouldn't be having that now or that or that or that or this or this guys do not tip your mangoes do not tip your mangoes okay lesson learned I learned another lesson last uh, summer remember when I said in one of my videos to cut these uh, flowers off like cut it here big mistake don't do that either because I did that on my uh... oh gee what's the variety called hang on a famous one in Florida anyway uh, a week after I cut these flower panicles whatever they're called off the tree died can you believe it and I only cut off two of these two or three that's all it had um, let's see if I can remember what variety it was I can't remember guys sorry but that's not the point the point is leave these flowers alone leave these flowers alone just let the tree do its thing let the tree take over don't interrupt we're talking mango now we're not talking guava right we're talking mango <sighs> because I was told that if you do that if you do cut this off the tree will shoot another one out and keep trying to put its energy into flowers and and that's at best at worst the tree might die like mine did Look what else I just saw here a big fat snail and boy have I found a lot of snails this morning from all the rain we got look at that look at that sucker hmm? he's no baby he's a whopper he's a whopper so what I do because my neighbor doesn't have any fruit trees he's only got um, oops <laughs> that was a bad throw he's only got um, hedges take two yep there you go he doesn't care so that's the the Glen doing so 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 well I wish I had 10 mangoes in ground looking like this like this one that's what I want guys and finally 
You saw this yesterday. Look how beautiful it is. Um, I have the final mango which I planted two weeks ago or one week ago. Him. He's the only um, seedling. All the others you saw were grafted. And it's also a Kensington Pride. And uh, I'm sure he enjoyed his first rain shower. I'm sure he did. So we're going to compare notes with um, seedling in ground and grafted in ground. See if there's any difference over the next 12 months to two years. So far it's, it's, it's been um, disappointing with the uh, the grafted Kensington Pride because of what I did to the tips. That was doing so well. So I don't know if it's going to make it. Hopefully crossing my fingers it will. So that's it guys. They're my uh, mangoes. How many were there? One, two, three, four, four. Four mangoes in ground and um, three uh, in pots. Thanks for watching and please like if you enjoy this update, spring update on my mango trees. See you from the next video guys. Wow what a beautiful day it's turned out to be after all that rain. Wow!